Armenia is an amazing country in the southern Caucasus. A country characterized by grassy plateaus, majestic mountains, beautiful lakes, a country rich in the Christian heritage, but it's a nation with very poor economy where people live very modest lives and don't need much to feel happy. Welcome to Extremely Locust Travels. Armenia, part one, around Argats. In the current episode, we'll explore northwestern Armenia. We'll encounter a shocking quality of roads We'll learn the secrets of fencing gardens when there is shortage of wood and we'll find out how to make fuel from animal shit. We'll be amazed by the beauty of Armenian nature, by colorful steppes and meadows, by breathtaking high mountains, and by unforgettable views. In the previous episodes, we traveled across Turkey and Georgia to finally reach Armenia. On the way, we passed many stunning places located far from the beaten tourist paths. Most of places we visited in Turkey and Georgia were remote and showed very little intervention in the landscapes. Now it's time to explore the Armenian sceneries. Crossing a border with Armenia took us less than an hour, but left us somewhat disappointed. Upon entering by car, we were asked to pay 25 euros. We asked what the fee was for, but they said just pay it and don't ask why. After filling some papers, we were able to start to explore Armenian roads. In order to drive on the roads here, you should buy liability car insurance. It costs about 10 euro per two weeks, if you buy it online. Our plan for today was to get to the vicinity of the Arctic town. A nice first place in a country with few trees. We made our first stop in Atashir town. Based on the appearance of the town, it becomes clear that this country is not among the wealthy ones. A pleasant surprise was a low price of fuel, so it filled up the tank and drove on towards our destination. After leaving the town, we quickly realized the tragic state of most Armenian roads. This road, for example, is in a quite a decent condition. The potholes in the asphalt are quite shallow, so you can even drive at 40 km an hour. On the road, you often come across vintage Soviet cars. Tracks usually don't worry about the road conditions and tend to go fast. The landscapes of Armenia are dominated by vast grassy highlands. Its northwestern regions are influenced by significant moisture masses coming from the Black Sea. Therefore, cloudy weather is much more common in this area. Continuing south to the country, you can observe that moisture is trapped on the nearest mountain peaks. And on the southern part of the mountain ranges, the weather significantly improves.
In July, the local hills look very picturesque in sunny weather. But strong winds are very frequent here. Let's continue our way further towards Arctic Town. The villages and the countryside are very poor and neglected. Finally, we have found a decent road where we could go even 8 km per hour. It's a great result for Armenian roads. The urban infrastructure, even in larger cities, leaves much to be desired. Now we are trying to find a way to a forested campsite south of the Arctic town. It's easy to get lost in these narrow winding streets. But finally we managed to get to our today's campsite. This place, located in western Armenia, is quite unusual in terms of landscape. Specifically, it's a wooded area. For most people, forested areas may not seem unusual, but Armenia is one of the highest elevated countries in the world, with an average elevation of about 1,800 meters above sea level. At such high altitudes, forests are rare and there are very few of them throughout Armenia. The majority of Armenia's territory consists of grasslands and steppe areas. Therefore, the forested areas are valuable and serve as desirable places for relaxation for the local population. This particular place is located at an elevation of over 2100 meters above sea level. Higher up, only grassy mountainous areas stretch out. Lower down, where the weather conditions are milder, you can see towns such as Arctic. The place we're staying right now is surrounded to the south with mountains of elevation exceeding 3000 meters above sea level. In the summertime, on the plateaus and gentle slopes, you can admire numerous beautifully blooming plants. The climate here is more continental than the one we observed in the northwestern part of the country. And it's characterized by short frosty winters and hot summers with relatively low amounts of precipitation. Nightfall is approaching soon. It's time to go to sleep to gather strength for tomorrow's adventures. Another morning has come, time to stand up. Today we have a long way to go. Our plan is to reach the Aragats mountain. Luckily for us, some roads on our way are in quite a good condition. We really like the vintage cars we often see on the streets. Most of these cars should have been placed in a museum long time ago. But people here can't afford to buy more modern cars, so they still use Soviet classics for everyday use. The most popular upper-class car in the province is Volga. A 
and the most common car on the roads is Lada. Ladas are present here in all colors and shapes. Let's see some villages in the Aragatsotin province. People in the countryside lead very modest lives. It is not surprising, considering that Armenia is one of the poorest member countries of the Commonwealth of the Independent States. Let's go and see some unusual things. The most characteristic and surprising sight for foreigners are drying bricks made of animal dung and grass. Dried animal droppings are used as a fuel for cooking and heating. The production and use of such fuel is common in rural areas of low-income developing countries where access to other energy sources is limited. Armenia lacks significant fossil fuel resources or large forested areas. So the dried shit is the cheapest and most available source of fuel here. Let's explore other unusual solutions that aren't commonly found in typical European villages. Such as the methods of fencing fields and gardens. In Armenia there are few trees, making it difficult to build a regular fence. However, there are many car wrecks that are ideal for creating a solid fence. I have to admit that I haven't seen this type of fencing anywhere else. Someone came to make sure that we didn't pass through these unique fences. Now my dad needs to find a way to the Aragats mountain. Again, we have the possibility to enjoy the brilliant quality of Armenian roads. And finally, we can see the Argat Massif in the far distance. Here at the altitudes of about 2000 meters, the landscapes are dominated by grasslands. The higher the altitude, the more rugged the, the landscapes become, with less vegetation and more frequent bare rock formations. We keep driving up towards our guts. On the way we pass by a few temporary summer shepherd settlements. Now we are at the altitude of over 3000 meters. And the local road here is in surprisingly good condition. The car has problems to go faster. The thin air at these altitudes causes the engine to lose power and heat up more. But the goal of our journey is not far now. Finally, we reach the end of the road by Kari Lake. It's from here that several trails begin, leading to the highest peak of Armenia. The Kari Lake is located at an altitude of about 3,119 meters above sea level, making it one of the highest lakes in the world. It lies to the south at the base of Mount Argats. The lake is relatively small. It has 0.12 of square kilometer and its depth is up to 8 meters. The whole lake is frozen for 8 to 9 months a year, but in summer the ice is melted. The water of the lake is cold and comes mainly from melting snow and precipitation.
The northern shore of the lake is surrounded by rocky hills, while on the southern shore there is the Argatz Research Station of Yerevan Physics Institute. This place looks a bit like from a horror movie. At first glance, the view is quite post-apocalyptic. Unfinished building structures, strange old measuring devices, deteriorating barks. One could think it's the ruins of some scientific research center. But in reality, it's a genuine research station that is still operational. This institute was constructed in 1943 to conduct top-secret research into atomic reactions for the development of nuclear weapons. Now the facility is funded by the government of Armenia and provides insights into thunderstorms and cosmic rays. Despite being a very poor country, Armenia continues its research activities and the Argatz Research Station is connected and collaborates with other stations worldwide, including those in Costa Rica and Indonesia. The Kari Lake is an important part of Armenia's picturesque landscape. This is where the most popular trails to the summit of Mount Aragats begin. The beginning of hiking trail is easy to find, but in higher altitudes it's much easier to lose the track. Today we don't have enough time before sunset to get to the top of the Aragats mountain, so we'll enjoy the beautiful surroundings of the Kari Lake. The slopes of Aragats near the lake, at the elevations of 32 to 3500 meters, are relatively gentle. Numerous grassy areas are present here. During the summer, herds of livestock graze on these high-altitude meadows. In early summer, the meadows are adorned with a profusion of flowers. The purple spreading bear flower is particularly abundant here. Many other flowering plants are also present here. At slightly higher elevations, green meadows gradually give way to rocky scree. In the higher parts of the massif, snow patches can persist throughout the summer. The bare rocks often take on a reddish hue. This colorful mountain landscape leaves unforgettable impressions. In the highest areas you can admire the beautiful ridges from which several peaks of the extinct volcano Aragats emerge in the distance. From the higher vantage points you can absorb the long stretches of mountain ridges extending far into the distance. The Aragats mountain itself will be discussed in more detail in the next video. Now it's getting late. Time to set up a tent and to enjoy a beautiful evening and night.
In the next episodes, we'll visit the other regions of Armenia, starting from the Argas Peak, through the Horvara viewpoint of Mount Ararat, and famous monastery, mountains of central Armenia, beautiful Sevan Lake, and the wetlands nearby, and ending at the Lake Apri National Park. Once again we'll witness the hardships of life in the countryside, we'll admire the unconventional fences and numerous vintage cars still in daily use. On our way back to Europe, we'll visit many beautiful places in Turkey.